What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a video where I'm saying fuck depression. Alright, so as you guys already know, I've been in a extremely bad rut. Um, for pretty much the past like six months. Um, my streams have been inconsistent, my videos have been inconsistent, my direction has been inconsistent, my everything's just been shit. And I need to start from the beginning. So I think the best time in my career that I've had was back in the summer of 2015. And where the chat was going so fast that I couldn't read it correctly. I remember that and it was like the best feeling in the world that so many people were here, so many people were active, so many people were having a good time. And it was one of the happiest feelings I had. I would like get off stream, I'd be fucking wiped out, I'd be so tired, but I'd be, I'd be so happy. I think it was the one time in my life where I wasn't really that depressed. I've been into pretty much depressed my entire life. Um, but I've been able to like work around it and just ignore it and chill and then get on with my life. But it comes back in these like kind of like spans where I'm just like, fuck. Um, but so then I'm doing, I'm streaming like this and the school comes back and I have to kind of stop streaming because I have to work in school. And if anyone who knows my personal history, they know I hate school a lot. So that's when everything kind of went downhill. Um, um, at least from my perspective. And streaming got less inconsistent. I had a complete mental breakdown uh, during that uh, time. I like left school for three weeks and came back and just it fucked up a lot of shit and so on and so forth. At the beginning of the new year, I thought, okay, I have a, I don't have to go back to school. I don't really have any other responsibilities. You know, I can just work on Twitch and YouTube. And as you guys can tell, that when you know, dumb toilet, that went complete shit. Didn't work. Uh, I ran into so many obstacles. I just kept getting these depression ruts. Didn't feel like streaming. Didn't feel like doing shit. You know, it was just. I, I love how I like have a habit of licking my mustache because it gets these little like fangs, like fang sashes, and I'm just like, mm, you like that. Anyways, back to the topic. It just was one complete shit. And over the past couple weeks, I have not done anything. Uh, I've been working on videos for Sets of Story X, but to be perfectly honest, they're not what I want them to be. I have the potential to make these videos awesome, but they don't have my 100%. They don't have my full enthusiasm. I, I, I'll be honest, I've been half-assing them, and I haven't been fully motivated because I've been in a complete depression rut. I've been pushing away fr friends, family, loved ones, you know, I've sort of pushing away my girlfriend not really intentionally but it's just like I wanted to work so I could feel better but I, it wasn't working you know because I was working for Sets Direct now I love Sets Direct I love making videos for them but it, I wasn't doing anything for myself so it was just kind of like this continuous um sorry this vicious cycle going over and over again I'm not doing anything for, for myself so I'm feeling more depressed and then that depression is not letting me do anything so it's just going back and forth back and forth back and forth there, there's one thing there's this one outstanding message I got and I've had these before but nothing stood out so much like this one um this is a uh, message I got from a fan called Luke I don't know what they call his fans or viewers whatever he has a family to me so he sends me this message with attached a picture to it and he has a sharper or a sharp sharp the sharpie tattoo uh WGL my initials Wolfgang Lupus even though Wolfgang's like one one name so it should technically be WL but it looks cooler as WGL. So he has it in Sharpie and he said he's telling me he wants to get a tattoo because I helped him get through depression through my streams. You know, my streams just helped me get through every day of being bullied and I don't want to get into too much detail because, you know, it's his personal life, but basically he was having a shit life. But I helped make it, you know, that much better. And it, it touched me in such a way that I felt guilty so guilty about not streaming because I'm not there for him and maybe the many others like him who really just, you know, might really kind of, I don't want to say depend, but like, my streams are something to help them get through their days, you know, because we all have shitty lives. We've all had shitty childhoods and whatnot. And, you know, at least my streams can do something. So I felt really bad that I wasn't streaming. And I thought to myself, soup. I got this message when I was in Texas. Sorry, I forgot the context. And I was visiting my girlfriend, Pixie, and you know, 
I got this message, and I was like, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stream, and because this, he's motivating me to get back to streaming, he's motivating me to get back, you know, and, you know, that, that didn't happen, you know, I, I, I got back, and I got in it with my landlord, and it was just all this drama here, and I was letting all these little things get to me, so I, again, the depression started, and then I wouldn't work for myself, and then it went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then today I decided to take a break. I was like, I'm not going to edit any videos, I'm not going to do anything, I'm going to sit down, Pixie bought me pizza, because I just ran out, someone just ate my food, the last of my food, so I was kind of really pissed, but she bought me like this awesome dinner, and pizza dinner, it's dinner, it's America. And so I was sitting down watching Netflix, and I watched Smosh's film, you know, the movie they made. And at the end of the movie, I thought, wow, these guys started from where I was. Look at me now, and look at them. Now, I know you say, well, why are you comparing yourself to them? Like, it's completely, it's Smosh, you know. But the concept is the same. They worked hard no matter what. And I don't really watch them that much. I don't really know exactly their entire history. But I was thinking I could be somewhere like this. I could be doing great things, making great content, and entertaining thousands upon thousands of people. And that's when I was just like, fuck it. I'm done with this shit. I am done with depression. I'm not saying it's going to be completely gone. You know, I may still have these episodes of where I'm in the complete depression. But I'm not going to let that stop me from streaming. I'm not gonna let that stop me from making videos. I'm not gonna let that stop me from putting my name out there. I wanna end this video by sharing with you guys the best lesson I have ever learned in life. True success is not measured with the awards, the fame, the credentials. True success is being successful at what you are passionate about. If you're passionate about being an actor or a doctor or no matter what it is, if you're passionate about something and you become successful at it, then you are a truly successful person. My passion is to entertain people, to make them happy, to make them laugh, to make them smile, to make that shitty day they just had become not as bad. And God strike me down if I don't become successful at it. I will make my full-time job making other people happy and making their shitty days just that much better. My name is Wolfgang. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and all that bullshit. And until next time, make sure to love yourselves and love life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.